Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in the brand new Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Vegas Movie Studio is a consumer version of Vegas Pro. This is the welcome screen here, and if you got Movie Studio 17 or Movie Studio 17 Platinum, this welcome screen will come up until you tell it not to, until you hit Always Start as Power User. I think the goal is to train you to teach you how to become that power user. I've actually got lots of tutorials about it and a Udemy series if you're wanting to look more into that in the video description. But if you bought this software and you just want to learn about how to get started quickly, I have a tutorial about the guided video creator, and um, this tutorial is about the easy edit modes. So the easy edit modes are just something that you can start with, especially if you're just getting started. It's going to create a new project as soon as you click on it. I'm going to say, no, I don't want to make any saves to that. It's going to ask you what you want to import in your project in the easy edit mode. I'm going to go to just a file where I have lots of random videos and I'm gonna grab a couple of things that are just easy to edit with and you can actually hit control and select more than one video if you have them all together and don't worry you can always add more videos later so I'm gonna open these two videos and it's gonna say do you want to base the project settings off the videos you're importing and I'm gonna say yes especially if this is what your video is primarily going to be showing if your video there are instances where you might not want to select this but for the most part yes you can see here we have these two clips and when you click on them you can you can see the clips and when you roll the mouse over them you can actually see what the clip shows now I have these in a certain order if I change the order down here and this is called the storyboard it'll actually change the order of the clips and then if you hit auto preview it'll show you the video as you have it selected if you want to add more videos you can just hit add media and add another video to it and you can arrange it in the organization as well whether you want it to start at the beginning or the end you can always open this back up in the entire software and get access to all your features right here with the pro user or the power user mode but that also comes with an added cost of having to learn how to use the power user mode which there are tutorials about and you will eventually get there but if you're just wanting to do a video from time to time you might not want to learn all that stuff over and over again every time you do a video a few times a year so this has some quick and easy stuff for you to do you can add and arrange media you can add text if you hit text right here it'll actually add a text box now this brings you into more like the power user mode but it doesn't it you can start moving and selecting things but it doesn't force you to do everything through what you would normally do you can still use this easy menu this easy menu is really what makes this a beginner edit mode now I recommend that you just delete this picture and picture track you can do that by highlighting the track clicking it and deleting and hitting the delete key so this is what you actually created and you can move it around put it where you want change the font type and you can, I recommend to get yourself more familiar with these options over time. I have another particular tutorial about adding text. Now the key to this being the easy guided mode is this dashboard right here, which is just another window that you can dock with by hitting control and move it around. And a lot of times it'll start with the project and you can get rid of it by hitting this X. But if you're in the guided video mode, I recommend kind of going to power user mode, so hitting, selecting that button, and then still using it here. You'll notice a major difference after you hit power user mode is you get some options back over here, and you get more options at the same time right here, and you get more options down here. And this is what you will be getting used to over time this is more like the screen that you'll be using over time so it's helpful to see everything at once but this dashboard you can always if you get rid of it you can always get it back by going to view window and selecting dashboard and it opens right back up down here and this dashboard just becomes another tab that you can tab through now this dashboard is also cool because it just kind of streamlines things for you if you're thinking oh I want to move this around and I actually want to push them together to add a transition well now you have a natural crossfade but let's say you wanted to add a different kind of transition you can go to this add video transitions select the kind of transition you want and drag it down here and now you can watch your transition you can select anywhere in the timeline to see that part of the video if you scroll in with the mouse wheel you can actually see more frame by frame 
selections. That's as tight as you can get in on a video is a frame. A frame is a single picture of a video. And the frames are counted right here. Most videos are about most videos that beginners will be dealing with are about 30 frames a second. So here you see 18, 19, 20, 21. This video ends at 1 minute, 52 seconds, and 21 frames, which is 21 frames of a second. So uh, out of, there's, it counts it by 30 frames a second. So that is the basics of how your video lays out. You can move your video just by selecting the top. You can shorten it by selecting the side. You can add fades by selecting the top corner and dragging the fade out. If you have, you can see a fade is shown by this line here. It'll, this one will fade to black. But if you already have a transition, it'll just show the transition there in the fade. You can see how it will easily get complicated, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. And selecting over here what you want to do helps you do it faster. So adding a text and titles is an easy thing to do because this goes ahead and generates a text title. And you can slide it where you want it in the video. And you can change the text to say whatever. And you can change the font. This is just a basic font editor and um, you can move it wherever you want it in the window and this scales how you change the size. You can also change the color of the text as well. And so that is the very basics of text editing. I have more tutorials about all of these steps so don't worry if you want to get more into it we talk about it but this video is just about understanding this dashboard in the guide video creator. This is to help you quickly find what you're looking for. So think about this as a navigation tool if you're new to the editing software. When you're done, you can hit Make Movie, and it will allow you to do a quick kind of upload directly to your social media if you've connected it. Or I like to just save it to my hard drive. That will just make a normal video file. It gives you some super simple options. Now, if you have Movie Studio Platinum and not just a base Movie Studio, you can actually go into Render As and do much more complicated options. But if you're doing this for the first time, I highly recommend using the Make Movie for a while because it'll help you learn what these kinds of videos are for. So let's go ahead and call this Test Video. Whoops and I'm gonna select AVC HD. It says for archiving HD videos uh, or you can select MP4 which is for creating internet ready videos. These are most likely the two you're gonna select. Uh, this I would select if you're editing iPhone footage and you want it to stay high quality and you're not posting it on the internet. I would always select this if you're posting it on the internet, always. And I would select this if you're gonna make a DVD. But again that is a bit more complicated of a process and so I doubt you're doing that for your first time editing. If you are, please watch some more tutorials. The advanced options will really actually open up a lot of advanced options. That's there if you want it, but we're not going to do that for this one. We're going to name the video, we're going to make an mp4 which is a normal internet video, and it's going to go ahead because we don't have any loop regions selected for this kind of simple of a video where there's no extra hanging video out here where it's all together one piece we're just gonna hit next because it's gonna save it I like where it's gonna save it you can change that and we're just gonna hit next and it's going to render out starting here and ending at the video if you have extra video hanging out in the timeline that you don't want you'll need to drag your mouse over I can't do it right now because this windows up but you'll need to drag your mouse and select the whole video and it'll just create a loop region and you'll need to hit render loop region only. That's very simple to do if you want to and then it'll go to rendering and we're gonna have to watch the entire video render. Now this process can take a while and that's okay because uh, sometimes your videos are very hard for your computer to encode and that's normal. So this one's trying to make it before for the internet and if you have a lower end computer it might take quite a while to finish doing especially depending on the kind of video it's starting with versus the kind of video it's ending with. So this is making an mp4. When it's done I'll show you what to do. When the video is done and you've used the make movie option and not the render as option like we did, you'll get this window right here. This will tell you where the video is located on your computer and you can play the file immediately or you can explore the folder. Exploring the folder is what I like to do because then it goes ahead and pulls up exactly where the video is. We can watch this video 
by double clicking it and I can move this video anywhere I need to move it like to a jump drive or upload it to YouTube. For more information about Vegas, I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out some more of my beginner stuff. I have a whole Movie Studio 17 beginner for editors who have never edited anything before. I have a quick start guide for people who have edited a lot and they want to learn more about editing in this platform in particular. And I also have a Udemy course if you're more interested in editing theory. It teaches you not only how to use Movie Studio from the very beginning to actual editing decisions but it also teaches you editing theory and how to make good editing decisions while you're doing it so thank you so much for watching anything you buy through my affiliates links helps out this channel a ton so if you're interested in the software check that out as well like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more thanks for